wouldn't be surprised if this is something that is like a pilot program. I wouldn't be surprised if this is very few and far between. Together, and there's a couple calls, and then you know people are are on board. So, um, and that is so neat to see. And again, that's a very I have a very fortunate position. Um, to be able to see those things happen. And um, this is a unique and really wonderful dynamic. So days like this, when a partner like Toro comes in and says, says to us, how about a little help? <laughs> yeah, we're all about that. Um, and then you tie that in with the national sponsorship that Toro has for the First T organization. Um, and you have something really special happening here in the tri-state area at, at the first Teague Greater Philadelphia. First team is really about kids. Uh, working with youngsters from the age six on up to age 18. The first team is actually uh, teaching a series of life skills and uh, life development activities uh, based on a platform of golf. Uh, the two are very compatible and uh, hazards in life, hazards on the course, how you react to them, honor, integrity, sportsmanship, perseverance, uh, things like that that uh, a lot of our young folks really don't have the opportunity to uh, hear a lot about at home. Uh, all told, uh, in the Philadelphia area, we've uh, reached roughly 5,800 kids last year. and. Uh, in April of this past year, we just uh, expanded into the seven counties around Philadelphia. And our goal by 2015 is to reach 10,000 youngsters in a year. You know, on one side of the spectrum, we're providing golf to, or the exposure to golf to the future. You know, so again, like keeping a nice facility, keeping good greens, um, we're exposing the next generation of golfers. Um, the other thing is we're trying to take um, those players who are older, you know, the older, the citizens in this, in this community who need valued entertainment and we try to bring them involved and keep costs low. Well, a day like today does that for us because there's a lot of, it's like stone soup. It's like, you know, one person throws a stone in the pot and lights a fire and then all of a sudden somebody comes along with a carrot and we build this thing and, and the community is eating, or in our situation, the community is serviced because we have exposure to golf and relatively very affordable um, golf entertainment value um, that will continue to perpetuate itself. From this spot, director of golf position, you, you say, you know those guys went to hell and back. And here, it's like, okay, now they got some troops, now they got some some resources, they've got the, you know, the human element, they've got um, the most up-to-date or equipment on the market, and that time and that efficiency is served very well. You know, stuff like today, these partnerships are invaluable, and um, what's being created here is um, extremely worthwhile, and, and we're very happy to be a part of it. First thing, as I say, is uh, all about kids, and we may not create the next uh, uh, great uh, player like uh, Tiger Woods or uh, one of your top tour players, but at the same time, we're going to create a lot of great people. And uh, here at Walnut Lane, having the uh, Superintendents Association along with the, uh, uh, the PGA and the, uh, the GAP um, all behind us, pretty hard not to be successful.